Hello! Today I'm coming at you with a very exciting collaboration video! Vegan Brie 823 and I on Instagram have talked for a long time and she has a YouTube channel just titled Vegan Brie and she pitched the idea of doing a collaboration where we share our top 10 spring eyeshadows for the year and I loved it. I thought it was such a good idea. You know I love highlighting my single shadows and telling you which ones I've been really loving and so it felt perfect. I also am a big time spring color palette type of person. So I was super excited at the prospect of looking through all of my eyeshadows and of course I couldn't quite narrow it down to 10. So these are my top 10 but then we have two honorable mentions that we'll talk about here in a little bit. If you aren't familiar with Bree's channel, she does a lot of really awesome YouTube short content but she also has been getting into longer form videos as well. She also does a lot of fun Instagram reels and posts with her looks each day and she just is a great person to chat with who really loves makeup so if you aren't already following her on Instagram and YouTube stop watching this video take a second go make sure you're subscribed and following both of the links will be in the description below without further ado let's go ahead and get into my top 10 plus two honorable mentions spring eyeshadows these are not specifically listed in like 1 through 10 order, but I decided to go with a color gradient instead. So we're starting off with our solo purple eyeshadow, although in the initial phase of picking out a bunch of eyeshadows that spoke to me for spring, there were so many purples, but this one stood tall above the rest, and this is the shade Empyrean from Copacetic Cosmetics. It is one of their like hollow multi-chromes. So there's like a little bit of a hollow sparkle within there. But what I love the most about this shade is just the multicolored sparkle within it. And then on top of that, you have like a multi-chrome. It goes from kind of like a pink to a gold to a green on the most extreme angles. And that purple base is a little bit more sheer. So I find that this one builds really well, but it can also be like a really light wash with just those sparkles mostly coming through, and it just is such a beautiful, versatile shade. Next up, we have Incantation from Pretties for Your Face, and I think I've said it before, but I am now a Pretties for Your Face affiliate. Uh, there will be a video coming out at some point explaining that journey and swatching all my pretties for your face shades. But in the meantime, if you do want to, you can use my code Catherine B at pretties for your face. And uh, I highly recommend waiting until they do a sale because during a sale, you can get this shade for $4. And this is another one that has like a very sheer base and is mostly just like sparkle heavy. Although that pink base is there, it's just like super, super sheer. But this one is uh, kind of like duochrome that goes from this blue to a pink. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get the shifts. You guys know this is something that I have routinely struggled with throughout all of time. But I really love using this one as a topper, and if I want to build it up, I'll use the glitter glue to kind of build up that base pigment a little bit. But either way, however I wear it, I think it's such a beautiful shade, and the colors that it shifts to just are such like spring kind of light, bright tones. You already know this next shade had to be included in my top 10. If you aren't familiar, I have a deep obsession with Cleona Palace, and that is what this shade is. It is my favorite multi-chrome, although we've got some that are in here that are really running up the competition, but this shade is so beautiful. It's got a pink base, and then it's got a very fine sparkle particle you can see compared to these other two it's more like sheeny and less sparkly but the shift in this is insane i again i don't know if i can catch the whole thing 
I can get, catch a decent amount of it. It goes from this pink to an orange to a gold and then a bright lime green. I love this shade, highly recommend. Some people have problems with staining with this one. I've never had it stain on me personally, but just know that is an issue for some folks. Next up, we have another Cleona shade. This one is Trinket, and I've just been wearing this shade a lot this spring. It's like a bright yellow based orange, and then on top, it's got this blue to pink sparkle, and it is just so beautiful. It's like, again, bright, light, but also colorful, and it just is giving spring to me. This is another multi-chrome that I have been obsessed with recently. This is Skyla from Divina, and this one is just flaky, sparkly goodness. It has a pretty large sparkle particle and a pretty sheer base. It does have an orange base, but it's more of a peachy orange compared to the yellow orange in Trinket. And then the shifts on this one, it kind of starts off as like a pink, then goes to a gold, and then a green as well, and even a little bit like aqua on this one. And I think what I'm starting to realize is that I freaking love this type of shift. There are quite a few shades in here that have that pink to gold to green shift, and I just love it regardless of the base color. It's definitely been my spring shift. And here is my best attempt to try to show that shift, but again, I'm just not getting the full spectrum. I do want to point out there are a ton of dupes for this shade. Sunbeam Citrine from Quicksand, and I think Terra Moons might have one. There are a ton. I've done a video about this in the past, and New Pores Makeup on Instagram has a really good post highlighting some of the dupes. So be careful. Don't run out and buy this. If you have one of those other shades that's similar, be sure to double check. Make sure you're not doubling up on dupes. Next, we have Shine by SD Shine Bright. I love yellow eyeshadow. I really, really do. This is another color that had a ton of potential top 10 picks, but this is the one that made the final top 10, and I actually am wearing this one on my eyes right now. I think it's so beautiful. It's got a very like pastel yellow base, but it is there. Some yellows, I find that the yellow base doesn't really come through all that well. This one, it definitely does. And then on top, it's got a multicolored sparkle that does shift, but really like the key part that makes this shade really special is the fact that you can see all of those different colored sparkles throughout it the whole time. Mostly there's blue and pink, but I also think that there's some silver and maybe some orange. Regardless of all the colors in there, it is a beautiful final result. For the green, we've got Don't Kale My Vibe. This is from Kristen Lee Cosmetics. And this is like that really sparkly, twinkly kind of metallic finish. There's no shifts in it, but I think that this sea foam kind of like sagey green color in this formula is so beautiful for spring. And I like to use this on the waterline as like a pop of color or all over the lid. It just is really versatile and beautiful. It reminds me formula wise to like the Glaminatrix Cosmetics Glimmering Creatures collection or something like Terra Moon's Rubidium or Palladium along those lines in the finish. We've got another kind of like blue green hybrid. This is the shade Splash from Luxie. It's got a really nice kind of like blue jean blue kind of base, something a little like gray and dusty to it. But then it's got this gold sparkle on top that goes to a little bit of an aqua and the result kind of gives me like green adjacent. I am traditionally not a huge blue eyeshadow fan, but this is the type of blue eyeshadow that I really love and I find is just so complimentary for this season and like those muted pastel kind of colors. This bad boy is new to my collection and I feel like it has been breaking the internet. This is Glaminatrix Bloodstone and it's not like the most super spring shadow on its face, but the shifts within this one give me spring. 
So this goes from this green that you see here to the blue that you can kind of see on the edge and then to like a bright like magenta kind of purpley pink color. I will pop up a little video I did that shows the shifts of this on my eyes. It is stunning. It's got this base color to it but again this is one that can like that base color can be pretty sheer and you can kind of just get like the wash of sparkles and because of that, I feel like this does work for that light, bright spring kind of shadow that I am looking for in my top 10. Rounding us out with number 10, we have Moon Mirror from Quicksand Cosmetics. And this is a gorgeous shade. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to capture the shifts in this but I will do my best to describe them to you. So this is like kind of like a light pink base, but it looks pretty silvery white on top. And then it shifts to a super bright, like kind of tealy aqua blue. And it is gorgeous. It is like the most pearlescent kind of eyeshadow I've ever seen. It, I mean, it looks just like a pearl. Like it is so beautiful. I've been wearing this on my inner corner pretty much every day it feels like it goes with everything because it's got that pink that blue that silvery white and all together it is just so fabulous i freaking love it i would say that the finish of this is a very micro sparkle but it definitely is really sparkly kind of similar in finish almost to the Kristen lee shade this is another type of shade too that a lot of brands have been coming out with recently my dear friend Riley Seeking Shifts has a post on this, so I'll put that down in the description as well, so that way you can check it out and see, make sure that you don't have a dupe already to this type of style of shade. But one last time, this is my full top 10 single shadows for spring of 2024. And to go through the names really quickly one last time, we have Copacetic Cosmetics Empyrean, Pretties for Your Face Incantation, Cleona Palace, Cleona Trinket, Davina Skyla, Shine by SD Shine Bright, Kristen Lee Cosmetics Don't Kale My Vibe, Luxie Beauty Splash, Glaminatrix Cosmetics Bloodstone, Quicksand Cosmetics Moon Mirror. Of course, I did mention that I had two honorable mentions. The first is, again, another top contender for my favorite multi-chrome of all time. I would say right now it's kind of a tie between Palace, this shade, which is Goblet from Cleona, and Bloodstone from Glaminatrix. This one, I feel like, though, the reason why it's an honorable mention is because the colors within this kind of give me more summer than spring. You can see it's got a really bright, punchy, like coral base. And then it's got this strong, like gold to orange. And again, green and even a little like aqua teal almost in the shifts. I'm telling you, this is just a type of shift that I've been really loving recently. Another reason that I feel like this is an honorable mention is because it's pretty similar to Skyla from Davina in terms of shift, but Skyla feels to me more like this spring version of this type of shadow. For all of my neutral girlies out there, I also wanted to give an honorable mention that was more on the neutral side, and this is the Cleona shade Effervescent. And again, shift-wise, like this one isn't super shifty, but the kind of shift within it is like the pastel version of Skyla, and it's just more of like the everyday wearable kind of version. It's got kind of like this rose goldy pink base, and then on top it's got like this multicolored sparkle. I kind of see like pink and green throughout there, and that kind of echoes the shift in it as well. We've kind of got like this light pink, and then it goes very softly into like a green kind of color like a sage green but again very soft not like super shifty or sparkly in the way that some of these others are so if you look at my top 10 and you're intimidated by these colors then effervescent might be a good option for you 
For the outro, I just want to say thanks again to Brie for suggesting this idea. I cannot wait to watch her video. And if you haven't watched her video already, please stop, look down in the description and watch her video and be sure to subscribe to her on YouTube and follow her on Instagram. I really enjoy her content and being able to see what shadows actually look like worn throughout the day. And so I highly recommend and thank you all for watching my video as well. Until I see you next time, I hope that you stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Bye!